is me and today is going to be another spring cleaning video. I know it's kind of summer now but the yard, the stables, even the van like everywhere is an absolute tip. It is disgusting, it needs a clean so I thought you know what if I'm having a big clean thought I'd film it for you guys because I know you find these videos so satisfying. I find them super satisfying just watching them back seeing everything being cleaned and sped up and they're like super satisfying before and afters. Um, also just before I'd let you know that I'm also wearing my new merch so if you'd like to check it out I'll leave a link in the description below. So yeah there's a lot that needs to be done today. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I definitely have my work cut out today, so I might need a few little helping hands with the cleaning today. So Esme, how is it looking in the feed room? Yeah, you don't want to have a look in the feed room. It's an absolute disgrace. All right, and um, Esme, how is it looking in the tack room? Yeah, you don't want to have a look in the tack room either. It's absolutely embarrassing. All right, so, Got my helping hands, let's get cleaning. The first job that I definitely need to do today is the muck truck behind me here. It's absolutely filled to the brim, it's almost overflowing. Um, so it definitely shows you that with horses, um, the main job that you do all the time is scooping the poop, you know. It's fun and all going on the beaches, uh, going hacking and going cross country and things, but the majority of owning horses it's the poop guys, so um, I'm gonna go and get the quad now, reverse her out, um, hitch her up to the muck truck and get scooping. <laughs> Got my rake. Okay, will she actually start? That is the question. Ooh, yes. Oh no, we, we need to reverse, not forward. You actually, you left it in um, neutral for once. My dad always leaves it um, in not neutral, so when you start it up, you put the gas on, you're off, you're moving forward. And it gives me a fright every time, so we can actually reverse now. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Taking out the hedge. Am I straight? All right, now hitched up, let's go. jackknife it if I do it anymore. <laughs> du, du, du. I'm now the queen of the muck heap guys. Um, I've got my rake here ready to um, shovel some more muck because if you look behind me here we have a good couple of years worth of muck here so ever wanted to know what that looks like you know the behind the scenes the um, most beautiful part of the yard. Um, here we go so Let's get shoveling. Oh, it's getting really rusty. Last one. Come on. Uh, this is my least favorite part because you've got to like kick it. Oh, that came off a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Cannot forget this. Definitely haven't lost that in the muck heap before. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing the worst part first. Get it over and done with. But um, yeah, we've got kind of like a little poo trifle here. We have lots of different layers. Um, it's, sometimes you can see the heat coming out of the centre on like really cold days in the winter because it's been sort of fermentating, fermenting, that's the word. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see the steam coming off. So um, I was talking to my brother about this the other day, but um, doing the muck truck, of course you can really feel the heat coming out of it now. Doing the muck truck, you know, keeps my muscles in shape. My brother does a lot of weightlifting. I was like, Max, why didn't you do the muck truck for me? You know, you're lifting all those weights for nothing. This is actually doing something productive, but I think he said it was a bit too smelly. So um, good thing there isn't smell -a vision or smell of YouTube because I'm going to stink after this. <laughs> My arms are aching. <laughs> Always takes longer than you remember. 
and it's getting really warm now. So for all of you guys out there that don't have your own horse or pony yet, just remember, if you're thinking about getting one, that um, they do around eight to 10 poos a day. Um, so that's a lot of poo. And especially with me who has around, wait, six equines now, that's 60 poos a day I have to pick up. So just wear you out a little bit. <laughs> Love them though. Okay guys, now the truck is empty. It's time to take it back to the yard and fill it up again. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> the shame. Uh, this is probably one of the worst my feed room has ever been. Um, to be fair, it did get quite messy the other day when I was making one of the hay nets and then um, I think I pulled one of the hay nets in the wrong position or something like that and basically all the hay went and fell on me so there's a bit of hay everywhere in the hay corner up there we've got a lot of feed that needs emptying into the bins we've got loads of willow's medicine that hasn't ended up in the bin because I think the bin might be full we have feed buckets everywhere we have loads of thing is I just never know what to do with all the um, bags for the plastic for the shavings so I always like to like do like one big haul and then it's just kind of built up in time with me taking it to the recycling. I've got a coat here, I've got one of Casper's rugs so there's a lot that needs doing so I really apologise for the state of this but you know this is the reality of owning horses everywhere gets very messy very quickly you have to do a lot of cleaning and tidying so Let's get started one bag at a time. <laughs> Where's the knife? See, I'm losing things because it's so messy. There we go. Okay, so here I have my Bailey's locale balancer that Mickey, um, Casper has, I'm pretty sure, and all three donkeys have. Um, thanks to Bailey's who are one of my sponsors. They provide me with all the feed and things that I need. So I could turn this around and do like the proper opening thing, but today I just don't feel like it. So I'm gonna do the lazy way. Um, which probably is a lot less efficient, but I'm just going to pour it in this way. <laughs> Here we go. It's a feed waterfall. Ah, no, you're not going. All right, now it's time to empty the other bag. I think another bag can probably fit in here, so I'm going to open it up the proper way you're supposed to do it this time, um, rather than the lazy way. But it is actually quite easy to open. Uh, where's the other plastic? There? there we go. Give it a little open. And whoop, there's the hole. Okay, now it's time for the last bag. All right, now we've sorted a bit of the feed out over there. Now it's time to sort out the hay. So this shouldn't be too bad. However, I did have like half of the hay bales collapsed on top of me. So that's why it's a little bit messy over here. So I don't think it should take too long. <laughs> Okay, so down here we have a lot of mess, a lot of packages and bags and things that need tidying up. So 
I think I'll just have to do a quick little time lapse because I don't even know what I'm going to do here. Some of those things you just have to do things in small stages to tidy up. So I think we'll do buckets first, then bags, then whatever's left behind. <laughs> Okay, it's looking so much better in here now, and it's got the fairy lights on, so that just makes it 10 times better. I think the last thing I need to do now is give the floor a little bit of a sweep, because it's pretty manky. <laughs> Okay guys, I know in my previous videos you really enjoyed brush cam, but um, can we have an RIP for poor brush cam here? He's come to the sad end of his life. He's He's been in multiple videos, he's been a big part of the channel, little brushy here. Um, you know, he's served us well over the years, but I think it's time for him to retire. So rest in pieces, poor brush cam. We got a new brush in town. Okay, go old chap. All right, everybody, it's looking so much better in here. Let's put in a little before and after. Um, but anyway, now it's done in here. Still got the van, the tack room, and three more stables to clean, as well as brushing the yard. So, got to keep going. Okay, guys. So the van has got pretty dirty pretty quickly again. We did have two horses in here today, which is pretty exciting. Um, we did, <laughs> Mickey and Joey went for a little trip together. Um, so there's a lot of mess in here. I have scooped the poop already, but there's a lot of mess from the hay. So I'm gonna do a bit of sweeping. There's a lot of mud in here as well from the forest. So let's give this a little bit of a tidy up then. Okay, so you might be wondering why we actually had two horses in the back of here. We had Joey and we had Mickey because Joey hasn't travelled in this van very much. It was actually his second time travelling in here. Um, so he was a little bit nervous the first time we went to the beach. That video will be coming soon um, if it's not out already. Um, so we thought, you know what, we'll take Mickey in here with Joey as well. So he's got a little friend and they travelled so well together. Joey was a lot calmer. He was fine. He was perfect. We went for a little walk uh, across the forest. Um, Mickey came along on a little string, my whole family came out, so it was a big family outing. Fortunately, we couldn't fit Casper in here as well. Don't know if we can actually fit Casper and Joey in here, because um, obviously Casper weighs a little bit more than Mickey, so I think it might be a little bit too heavy. Um, but no, it was so nice having Mickey along with us. At the beginning, he was so excited, but then by the end, he got a little bit tired. Um, so that's what we did this morning. Um, we didn't film just because Having two horses together, we haven't done that before. We wanted to just focus on the horses, make sure that, that they were okay. Um, so I'll enter some little photos and things we haven't done already. Um, so yeah, it was a really good trip. Hopefully we can do it again and film it for you guys. But anyway, back to some cleaning. <laughs>
All right, so it's now nice and clean in the back of the van here. A lot better now, given a bit of a washout because it was pretty mucky. Um, so there's actually some storm clouds coming over. So I think the next cleaning I should do should probably be the horses' stables, give that a muck out because I know soon they'll probably want to come in, especially if it starts raining. <laughs> I've now finished cleaning everywhere. I even cleaned in the um, tack room as well. I didn't film that though because it, did, it wasn't really very satisfying. It's a bit dark in there. I just did a quick clean up because it actually wasn't too bad. It just needed a bit of a sweep. Um, so anyway, I feel a lot, lot better now. Everything's nice and tidy, organized in its place, especially the feed room, especially the van as well. That was pretty nasty and I'm taking Casper up tomorrow. So um, that'll be all nice and clean for him as well. Um, so everybody, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out. I hope you found this video as satisfying as I did to make and we'll soon edit. I need to edit this now. Um, but anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>